Oh, morning, afternoon actually, it's afternoon now. So um, I thought we'd dive into the uh, the unknown a bit today and talk about pattern boards, pattern plates, however you want to describe them and give you my thoughts on them, my uses for them and as and when they should, if, if they should be used. Um, it's going to be a uh, very varied um some people are going to love it some people are going to hate it because they've been brought up understanding that pattern boards should be used um i'm for the mindset that pattern boards are, are pretty much useless um they don't really tell us anything um you don't shoot a pattern plate the way you shoot a, a, sh a moving target with a shotgun so they don't really tell you anything everybody that pulls that shoots a shotgun if you're left-handed, you're probably going to pull um, the gun to the right. If you're right-handed, you're going to pull the gun to the left. So um, I don't really see much benefits from from that point of view. For gun fitting purposes, I think they're absolutely useless. Um, I said it before in a different video. You know, if I went to uh, a tournament on the weekend and they said, "Okay, right, next station, Ben, you're up first. You've got a rabbit on report pattern plate." then I'm going to start worrying about hitting one. Until then, it's absolutely pointless. What you will find is a lot of cheap instruction and a lot of bad instructors will take you on a pattern plate to simply waste your time and eat up some of your lesson. And it's it's a common theme where it's just time wasting, really. Um, if you're doing gun fits, it should be on moving objects, incomers, outgoers, um, targets that you must shoot straight at. You can adjust the impact point to suit whether you want to see clay don't want to see clay want to cover it want to shoot the bottom of it so i i do all of my gun fitting i probably fit more guns in the uk than anybody um so that's how i fit them on on moving targets not static targets which we're never going to shoot in a competition now where would i use one it's not so much a pattern plate but what i do do is energy test so I'll energy test my my um, my equipment at 40, 50, 60 yards. What I'm looking for there is the same sheet of plywood, seeing how far the pellets go in. There's no point people saying, I've got a fantastic pattern on a piece of cardboard at 60 yards if it's carrying no energy and only just tickling the paper. If it's not making dents or flattening or causing some deformity in the pellet or at least going into the plywood, then a great pattern is useless because it's carrying no downrange energy. So... I do do use that, but I don't use paper. I use plywood, so I'm you know I'm testing into that, seeing whether I'm getting the uh, the impact or anything like that. And another reason I would use it, but I would never let a student do this because they wouldn't know what they were looking for, is if you want to look at patterning on chokes, um, what are you getting now? Even myself, when I do this, I don't do it myself. I send mine away to Briley. You know, I've been an ambassador for Briley for years. So I send mine to Briley to be done. I don't want to see it. I don't want that conscious mindset of what is the pattern looking like. I don't need that in my head. I trust them that they're going to give me the best available. So if my student was saying, right, I shoot quarter, quarter and eight, and I'm starting to see in a lesson that they're not really get, getting the kills that I want them to, and I think it's down to equipment or pattern, I will take the gun away and I will pattern test it, and I'll try all of their choke tubes with different combinations till we, till we find the winning combination that's giving them the pattern that I want to see. Um, again, I wouldn't let the students see that. It's of no benefit to them at all. You know, they're paying me because they trust me. So that's how I that's how I do my pattern testing for equipment chokes and and or cartridge testing. So. It's only a short one today, but I just wanted to clear that up because I've had about 300 messages about this. And so they have a place as a coach. They do not have a place as a uh, just a shooter going out there and says, right, I'm going to go to the gun club today and I'm going to pattern my gun. You'll learn absolutely nothing. You'll pick your head up. You'll stationary. You'll jerk. You'll jolt. You'll, you'll do it at the wrong distances. So for me, they absolutely have no relevance whatsoever. They can be used by a very good coach to... Um, test your equipment for you i wouldn't let you do it yourself as i said and if you're going to do pattern testing pattern testing is absolutely pointless if you don't know how much energy it's carrying down range especially if you're live bird shooting so that's my tips on pattern plates um 
it's not really anything you can do at home but something that i've been asked about a lot so i thought i would just drop it in for you guys today just to hopefully get it cleared up for you so look as i said in all my videos that's my opinion doesn't make me right and you wrong i'm not going to get into arguments below it's my opinion on something i do daily so i hope you're staying safe um if you have any ideas of what you'd like to see tomorrow comment below i'll try and accommodate any requests i can do from home i've got some equipment here so i can go over that so please just drop a comment below on what you'd like the next day to be and we'll see if we can get through it all so please guys stay safe look after each other and we'll speak soon